Hi people on the internet, um, this is a video sped up of me inking a panel of my comic. The comic is called Luna and I'm just finishing up this panel um, which I've already started as you can see. Luna is something I've been working on for a while now, I would say more than a year, just like slowly writing it and revising it and, and just recently like last maybe in December I started working on the actual art for the pages more seriously so the character I'm inking right here um, is a minor character uh, named Akshit. I named this little boy Akshit because I used to have a, a student by that name when I used to teach art and I thought he was so cute I have fond memories of when he was in class so yeah I thought why not put him in a comic I'd like to start working on my YouTube channel some more and put out some more videos I'm working in my studio every day like working on my comic or doing painting or something so might as well record it and put it out because a lot of people, including myself, really, I think, like to, you know, work on their own thing and listen to somebody talk. <laughs> and I know it's helped me a lot. I listen to other artists on YouTube just talk about whatever while I'm working on my own stuff. This broom is giving me, or was giving me, such a hard time. Revising little the little body of this character. This comic has been really good practice for me um, for drawing city landscapes and like all of the different angles and perspectives that characters might you know be in. I feel like witches have made some kind of comeback. I'm always seeing artists on Instagram or wherever drawing or painting witches and I don't know why, like when when did that become a thing again? I don't know. I, a few years ago it was vampires and now it's witches. And it's really weird. I say it's weird because I don't know what triggers it. I don't know what starts it. Like, I, I'm not always on Tumblr or on different social media, so I don't know where this starts happening, like creeping up and like why. But yeah, there have been a lot of shows lately um, about magic, witches, whatever. I haven't seen them all, but it's really interesting. I'm, I feel like a lot of my work always it, it has a lot of magic or something in it you know magic realism and it's interesting to see how other people um, use magic in their stories like where does it come from like do how does it affect the person using the magic I feel like I need to do more, read more stories. I just need to read more in general. I haven't read 
in a while for fun. I've been reading like some comic books, but not novels, which I really miss doing, but I feel like I don't have time to do it. Um, and if I'm going to be straining my eyes with something, I feel like I should be productive and work on my artwork instead of, you know, reading a book. Yeah. One thing I've realized from observing, um, going outside and observing the city and wherever, is that there are a lot of interesting details on the streets. Like, sidewalks are not usually, you know, perfectly intact. Sometimes they're really messed up, deformed, or have cracks in them, and maybe little bits of vegetation growing out of them, or they're different colors. Um, there are so many de details I could put into my backgrounds. Oh, these buildings. Um, really, this whole comic is pretty much the setting for it is inspired in, uh, from when I lived in San Francisco. I love San Francisco. I love the buildings there. I loved walking around looking um, at the beautiful houses, um, Victorian houses or whatever. And when you're doing comics drawings, you want to make the backgrounds look good enough, but there's so many panels to draw, so many pages to draw, you can't just focus. You, you can't put too much detail, too much work or effort into one panel or page, or else you end up working on just one project. For Amber.
this video is almost over. I hope you found it a bit interesting. I'm gonna try to sound less dead in the next video. Bye!